Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters and the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our Q&A series. You know, it's summer 2019. Uh, we're trying to cram in as many of these Q&As as we can here for you all because we're getting ready to hit the road. Summer travel season starts up in about three weeks and uh, we'll be off to Alaska, Montana, we'll be in the Amazon, we'll be in New Mexico, we'll be back in Alaska and then New Orleans and wind up in Michigan and then it's uh, all, all of a sudden Black Friday which is a big time around here. So um, trying to get as much of this done as we can before we hit the road uh, but stay tuned we'll have updates coming at you from the road. Uh, we'll have updates after we get back from the trips on how they go so stay tuned here on YouTube and social media for updates. And as always, go to madriveroutfitters.com, click on the services tab, and you can read all about the fly fishing trips that we do, which are gonna be a little bit different. We don't just pat you on the back and say, have a good time. We make the ultimate sacrifice and we go with you. So, as always, we've got a great question today. And uh, let's see, Dale Headley from Bend, Oregon chimes in with basically a question about casting and then uh, stay tuned at the end of the video we have a little bit of an editorial coming up but anyways Dale says hi Brian first off thank you for getting me over the hump with your video on streamers um, I'm assuming this is what a Q&A that we did or, or something but the knowledge you share is priceless I watched number nine countless times to see if I missed something. The info to go to a, a 12 thousandths and 13 thousandths on the bigger streamers I use from my kayak on the lakes here in Central Oregon has made a huge difference. Well, excellent. Glad to hear it, Dale. Uh, you're not the only one. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback and it uh, seems that uh, the industry has failed a lot of folks in explaining that a big fly requires a big tippet. So Dale has two questions. First of all, from a kayak, it can be challenging to get longer casts of say 40 feet plus while sitting down. What tips do you have for increasing distance in that scenario? Any additional tips you might want to share for us kayak anglers? Well, Dale, um, I, I just got to tell you that uh, you're wrong. And here it is. There, there is no difference in fly casting whether you're sitting down or standing up. Absolutely zero difference. And um, I'll refer you back to our original casting video we did in the Getting Started in Fly Fishing series. And in that video I talk, and I talk a lot about this, is that you must keep the fulcrum point of the casting system stationary. This is like sixth grade physics that the industry has, has really never understood fully. But the fulcrum point is your elbow, okay? And <clears throat> when you're fly casting, you're gonna, you're gonna get it moving and then you're gonna form your 90 degree arc, rod tip traveling in a straight line, <clears throat> and that's gonna form your nice tight loop. And then you're gonna go 90 degree arc, okay? And then you're going to bring the rod down to fishing position and the elbow must stay stationary. Doesn't matter whether you're sitting down, you can fly cast perfectly in a lawn chair, in a kayak, in a papasan, in a, uh, you, you name it. It's, it doesn't matter. Sitting down, standing up, the fulcrum point must stay stationary. So you're doing something wrong. You're moving too much. Okay, um, so no difference there. And then the other thing that you must be doing is double hauling. Okay, you need that double haul in every fly cast that you make. And my guess is you're probably not doing that or not doing it well. And practice your double haul because that's what's going to help you get that increase in distance. It's also going to allow you to be much more efficient. And therefore, by not moving your body so much and actually doing more of the cast here with your opposite hand now you're going to be able to move much less you're going to rock your kayak much less in fact when you fly cast your kayak should not rock at all there shouldn't be a ripple in the water because it's nothing more than right here double haul don't move the fulcrum point and i think that we'll hear from you very shortly 
and you're gonna say it made a big difference in your cast, okay? So don't move the fulcrum point. A great way to practice this is go out in your backyard, kind of um, kneel down uh, with, with one knee up, one knee on the ground. Put your elbow on your knee. You know what? Let's just go out, let's just go out there and do this. Let me show you how to practice this in your backyard, okay? So this is a great exercise for anybody wanting to up their fly casting, but especially for you trying to cast out of a kayak or for that matter a boat or a canoe or, or anything or from a seated position anywhere. Okay, and you're just going to take a knee. You're going to come down on one knee, keep, uh, keep your dominant knee that's equivalent to your dominant hand up and put your elbow on your knee and do not let your elbow come off your knee. Okay, and practice your fly casting that way. And you're gonna see that this allows for your rod to bend more, thus do more of the work, and you're gonna increase your distance uh, incredibly. Um, as I mentioned also, make sure that you double haul. You wanna get that double haul in there, distribute half the workload to this hand, okay? And you're gonna find that you're rocking the boat much less, less ripples in the water, and you're going to increase your distance. In fact, you're going to be able to throw this into the next county if you practice this exercise and then transfer it to your kayak, okay? Oh, shit, man, you okay? You all right, man? I'm so, I'm so sorry. All right, so Dale, there you go. I hope that helps. Do that exercise, then get in your kayak and you're gonna notice a huge difference. And you're gonna be able to get, you're gonna be able to throw to the next state from your kayak without any problem and without a mere ripple in the water, okay? And let me know how it goes. And then your second question is, um, you would love to buy some MRO stickers and decals? Well, um, Dale, we certainly, we do sell Mad River Outfitter stickers. Um, they're not overly expensive, but, um, and you're welcome to buy some, but you know what? Uh, we're gonna send you stickers for submitting this question, okay? We'll, uh, we'll send you some stickers to cover your kayak and give to all your friends, um, just because oh, we appreciate your participating. And then Dale, you go on to say thank you, which doesn't quite express my appreciation accurately for the wealth of knowledge you give away. And thank you for indicating that those are slammers. Um, but here's the, in, in that I give away for free. You rock slammers again. Well, Dale, I appreciate it. Uh, we try our best to rock even at my age. Um, but let me make something very clear. And here comes an editorial. If you don't like editorials, please turn this video off right now. Um, I don't give this information away. It's not free. First of all, it costs me a lot of money to make these videos and Mad River Outfitters and the entire staff of Mad River Outfitters. And it takes time to make these videos. Yes, you can watch them for free. There is no charge for watching our videos, but um, I just have to be honest with you. The ultimate goal of having this YouTube channel is that we want your support. I'm just being brutally honest with you. We want your support and we want you to help support Matter of Outfitter. So we kind of we kind of call it the honor system. If you watch Mad River Outfitters videos on a regular basis and you enjoy what we do, we would assume that based on the honor system, you would support Mad River Outfitters in one way or the other. You would go to madriveroutfitters.com and purchase something. Maybe it's just some flies or a few liters. Every little bit helps. Or you pick up the phone and you call us for advice and then you wind up purchasing that product or you email us, we're gonna answer your email and help you make the right decision 
and determining what flies, leaders, tackle that you might need. So um, just to be clear, I'm not yelling at you, Dale. We love you. I can't wait to hear from you and how the casting tips helped. But just to be clear, even in slammers, I don't give away this information. It's the honor system, and we assume that you're going to choose to do business with Mad River Outfitters in some form or another, okay? So appreciate, we do appreciate all of you. We appreciate the support and 90% of you do shop with Mad River Outfitters. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just can't say it enough. We really appreciate it. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have questions that you would like for us to address here on our YouTube channel, please send them to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. Uh, again, we don't usually see them on social media. I just don't go on social media, but I do answer phones and I do answer emails. So as always, we appreciate you tuning in. We've got more useless, uh, useful, excuse me, videos coming your way. So uh, stay tuned and stay in touch. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.